Hey y'all. Okay, so let's pick up where we left off. We are still doing um, the review for exam three. The reason why I'm recording all of these videos is because I only have enough time to cover half of this review um, in two classes. It's going to take me two classes to cover half of the review. And um, just that way y'all actually have the, the work that it takes to do these problems. And, you know, I could talk about the process and so on and so forth. Um, I decided just to record the whole thing. So where we left off last time was we did 34 and 35, um, which was actually just like creating our own system of equations. Um, hopefully those made sense and they were fairly um, understandable. Let me flip my laptop. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is 36, 37, and 38. Uh, for problem 36 um, through 38, it actually, oh, that was a bark. <laughs> it says to evaluate the determinant. I totally pushed the wrong button. It says to evaluate the determinant. So, okay. Um, evaluate the determinant of a two by two. Uh, remember I told y'all that could be A, B, C, D. You do A, D minus B, C. Um, it's the same thing as saying C, B. Um, this is just going to be the most common way that you could see it. What we're doing is we are taking the difference um, of the product of the diagonals, okay? And so let's go ahead and evaluate this. We have three, four, six, five. Uh, what you do is you take the product of this and subtract from it the product of that diagonal, okay? Oh, what is that? Sorry, the hair on my arm. And so... We have 3 times 5, subtract from that, 6 times 4. And just to show y'all, the product of this is right here. And then we have the product of that right here. Okay, that's where that comes from. So if you do 3 times 5, you get 15. Signs are the same, so it's positive. And then if you do... 6 times 4, you get 24. Signs are different, so it's negative. And then if we combine those, a positive 15 and a negative 24, because signs are different, what we do is subtract, keep the sign of the larger. The determinant is a negative 9. Okay, so problem 37 is finding the determinant of 4, 3, 9, 8. You do 4 times 8, subtract from that 9 times 3. 4 times 8 is 32. Signs are the same, so it's positive. 9 times 3 is 27. Signs are different, so it's negative. Um, and then if you do that subtraction right there, you get a positive 5. So that's it. That's going to be the determinant of um, number 36 and 37. Okay, so let's make that go away. And let's do problem 38. Uh, 38 is a three by three. The way you find the determinant of a three by three is to um, actually do what we just did in the previous two problems a couple of times. Um, those are going to be called minor determinants. Uh, and the way you're going to do it, hold on, let me get this real quick. Okay, the way you're going to do that, y'all, is we're going to take this first column and we're going to multiply each value in that first column by a determinant. And the determinant is going to be found, um, I'm going to kind of do like a whole bunch of different highlightings and, and try to show y'all, okay? Um, I'm not going to actually rewrite this matrix again. I'm going to move my 38 to here. Also, actually, you know what? You know we're doing number 38. I'm actually just going to start doing the problem right next to it, okay? So you're going to start with row one, column one, which is a three. 
And then we're going to multiply that by the determinant of that determinant. The values are going to be found by covering up the row and the column that our three is in. And if you notice, what remains are these four values. That's what you find the determinant of. Okay, so our determinant is going to be found of 0, negative 4, 0, 2. Um, and then what we do here is we actually alternate plus, minus, plus, positive, negative, positive. Okay, and knowing that since I'm now on row 2, column 2, I'm going to do my negative sign. And then I'm going to look at that value, which is a 3. Then I'm going to multiply it to the determinant of cover up its row and its column, right? What remains is 3, 2, O, oh, 2. So we have 3, 2, 0, 2. And I'm going to alternate again, go back to positive, look at what value I have here, which is a negative 2. Multiply that by the determinant, cover up its row and its column. What's left is 3, 2, 0, negative 4. 3, 2, 0, negative 4. And so we have this setup now, right? That's what we're going to use to find the determinant. We have this setup. Now I'm just going to work underneath right here, y'all. Equals, we have 3. And I'm going to do a bracket, okay? Because whenever I actually determine or evaluate this determinant of this 2 by 2, um, just like we did in 36 and 37, was um, we wrote it in a horizontal manner. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We do 0 times 2, subtract from that 0 times negative 4. And I know, I get it, I see the zeros. I recommend just my own piece of, advi yeah, piece of advice. Don't skip steps. Um, I just, I'm just saying, don't skip steps, okay? We have a negative 3. We're going to multiply that to the determinant, and it would be 3 times 2, subtract from that 0, times 2, then that's going to be a negative 2, multiplied by 3, times negative 4, subtract from that 0, times 2. So what we have is 3 times, well, 0 times 2 is 0, and then 0 times 4 is 0, so we have a 0, and we have a negative 3 times, 3 times 2 is 6, signs are the same, so it's positive, 0 times 2 is 0, right? Then we have a negative 2 times 3 times 4 is 12. Signs are different, so it's negative. 0 times 2 is 0. Okay, so we have 0. Don't need to write that. I've got a negative 18. 2 times 12 is 24. Signs are the same, so it's a positive 24. And then if you look at this right here, because the signs are different, what you do is you're going to subtract and you would get 6 and then you keep the sign of the larger so it's a positive 6. And that would be the determinant of that 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, awesome. Well, I will be right back. We're going to do problem 39 and 40 when I return. Thanks, y'all. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Bye.